all right, so there's a new trend in corporate America, and this makes me laugh that this is a new trend, and people are like, oh, this is amazing. I love it. Oh, this is so good. And experts are quoted in this article, and I'm not going to quote the experts because they're acting like this is now needed more than ever. And the fact is this should have be, been going on since the beginning of business. What is the trend? Well, this is a Fortune article here. The CEOs of Uber and Starbucks are picking up frontline shifts. And uh, so, you know, you could show up at a certain Starbucks and you roll up to the window or maybe you walk up to the counter and if you didn't know any better or somebody didn't tell you, the CEO could be in there apron on giving you your drink. Or you could order an Uber and the CEO of Uber is picking you up. So this is now, according to this article, picking up steam. As CEOs are looking to deal with the lack of engagement and also get an intimate understanding of their staff and the customer. Now, I don't understand why this is an article. This is mind-numbingly stupid to me that all of a sudden this is a new trend. And I'm only speaking on my, my this is my perspective. I see if I'm running a company that large, I'm going to be out there with the customer on a regular basis. I'm going to be talking with my team. I want to know what the 16-year-old at the point of sale is experiencing, and I want to know what the 66-year-old who's helping deliver the drink is doing. I mean, that's just, to me, it's, it's just a no-brainer. 53% of workers, according to this article, believe that their employees are out of touch. I can't believe it's that low. With what employees want from company culture, according to a survey from HR publishing platform eLearning Industries. Not surprising, given to this piece of data. CEOs spend only 6% of their time with rank-and-file employees on average, according to a study tracking the time allocation of 27 CEOs, this done by Harvard Business School. <laughs> 6% of their time? And we wonder why the Great Resignation happened? and continues to happen with four-plus million people quitting their jobs every month. you got to come out of the tower. you got to walk through the streets, leaders. And can, can we just say this? This is not just me challenging CEOs. Anybody who's listening to me and watching me right now who is in a leadership position, you need to be outside of your office, sitting in the cubes, walking the hallways, listening to your team as they interact with each other, as they interact with the customer, as they interact with vendors. You need to be in the trenches. Some of you may not have seen Saving Private Ryan, but I'll use this as an example. Any war movie where the leader of that battalion was in the trenches taking fire. This is a battlefield scene. All right. I'm not I'm not taking you to a scene where they're in camp and the leader's got his tent set up and his right hand is there with him. I'm talking battle scene. You just think of your favorite military movie, war movie, battle scene, the leader is taking fire. They are in the trenches with their men. That's the metaphor. You cannot lead effectively from a tower. You say, well, Ken, there's a chain of command that works in military all the time. I get it. But chain of command is the phrase. The general is miles from battle, getting reports through the chain of command. Each time that the communication of the situation moves through the chain of command, it loses its relevance. 
Is the information largely the same? Sure. But the general's got to make a decision through all of that communication. And they're not on the ground. How can you make the best decision if you're not truly understanding what is happening on the ground? So I applaud these CEOs for doing this. I just think it's silly that, you know, in this article, and again, I'm not going to name these exec, these, these, these experts because I don't want to, I'm not trying to poke fun at anybody. I'm just saying they're acting like this is just some amazing, like it's now, it's needed now more than ever. No, it's always been needed. It will always be needed. It is, in my mind, a no-brainer. Now, here's the question that I have. And I think you leaders out there, if you see your leaders doing this, and you followers out there, if you see your leaders doing this, I think you got to pay attention to this. Now, here's the question I have for the Starbucks CEO, for the Uber CEO, for these other CEOs who are supposedly doing this now more than ever. This is, to me, because this should always be being done, it's not a, a reflection of the lack of engagement that we have coming out of the pandemic as if it's sort of, sort of this... Uh, unique time in history, and so I've got to do things a little differently. No, this is a no-brainer. But the question I have is, is it authentic or is it about performance? I mean, are they doing this to lift morale by everybody seeing them and everybody talking about it? Did you hear? Did you hear? Our CEO came in today. And made Ken Coleman a white chocolate mocha. Wow. So cool. Had the apron on and everything. Wow. Talk to me. Ask me how long I've been there. Oh, so cool. Is it a PR stunt? Publicly and internally? Or is it authentic? Are they learning? Are they listening? Are they seeing? Are they leading differently? Because they're on the front lines. I'll tell you if you know, it's authentic if they keep doing it and never stop.